أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اتبع هداه إلى يوم نلقاه وبعد We thank Allah, we praise Him, we beseech His mercies and blessings on His Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his household, his companions, and those who tread his path till the day of reckoning. Ameen. Uh, Insha'Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we'll be looking into two areas this morning, and that is the areas that we will be concluding the phase of explanation of al isti'adah Hopefully, maybe we'll just briefly explain each of the words in the statement of A'udhu Billah min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. So the meaning of A'udhu Billah, the meaning of shaytan ar-rajim, so as it, is, as it is used before we go to the next phrase of Basmala. So this is so lengthy because it is tafsir. It's not just taking the meaning and going out of it. Tafsir al-Quran, that is why it is called exegesis. So you touch areas, the deep areas, so that you can have the rapt understanding of the Qur'an. Inshallah, yesterday we talked about the difference between recitation for tilawa and recitation for giving out evidence. Like someone asks you, a matter of the deen, what is the ruling of this in Islam? And you want to give out evidence from the Qur'an. So there is a difference between that kind of, you know, reading and the recitation that you are prepared that you want to do tilawa you want to read you know reading the quran is a rather now that kind of recitation for tilawa it is a must that before you begin you must say a'udhu billah min ash-shaytan ar-rajim fa idha qara'ta al-quran fasta'ith billah min ash-shaytan ar-rajim then for the other one rest if you want to read to quote the quran it is not required upon you to say isti'adha and to say basmala. So you can, you can know, maybe I'm conversing with Sheikh Adam and we are discussing on matter. Even in that matter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the, in the Quran, وَلَا تَجَسَّسُوا وَلَا يَغْتَبْ بَعْضُكُمْ بَعْضًا So, you know, I didn't, I didn't really say, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ The reason is because I'm not reading the Quran for tilawa. I'm reading it لِلْإِحْتِجَاجِ to quote an evidence from the Quran. So that is uh, the difference between those two readings. Now, inshallah, we'll quickly go into Fadailul Isti'adah. What are the benefits, the importance of A'udhu Billah min ash shaytan al rajim? Wallahi, the statement seems to be very simple, but it encompasses a lot of things. Wallahi. A'udhu Billah min ash shaytan al rajim. Allahu Akbar. So from amongst the fadail, in fact, if you look at the Quran, a lot of verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, says and says it that we should seek his refuge away from the evil of shaitan. In Surah Al-Falaq, قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقِ Okay? So, مِنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقْ You know, Allah created the man and the, and the, and the jinn, right? وَمِنْ شَرِّ غَاسَقٍ إِذَا وَقَبْ all these things are evils, are shayateen. وَمِن شَرِّ النَّفَّافَاتِ فِي الْأُقَدِ وَمِن شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا عَسَدٍ This is isti'adha. The all of the surah of Surah Al-Falaq is talking about isti'adha. Surah Al-Nas. قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ A lot of verses in the Quran, aside the one of فَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنِ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانَ الرَّجِيمِ So one of the important is that Isti'adha as it is, annaha min ajallil ibadat. It's from amongst the most important ibadah that one could do. Wa min a'zabi ta'at. It's from amongst those, you know, form of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The most form of obedience. Bel hi aqiqatun min haqa'iki tawheed al-ilahiyya. In fact, it is one of the realities of one having a tawheed. Imagine something happens. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to let anything that is evil to befall on us. The believers of idols, those who worship idols, when something evil happened to them, what would they call? 
they may call their idols. Those who, even the, the, the Christians, when something happens to them, most times they will call what? Jesus. Jesus, right? As if Jesus will save them. But we, when we see something that is evil, what do we say? What, that, what does that tell us? It tells us that there is Tawheed in us. We believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at this point will be the one to, to save us. Nobody. A'udhu billah min shaitan rajim If we do not say A'udhu billah, we say Subhanallah. Because we know that Allah alone is the one who saves us. That is aqiqah tawheed. Is the reality of tawheed. So, it is one of the most important statements that one could say. Look at Surah Al-Nas. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Qul, he was telling the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Say, A'udhu bi rabbin nas. I seek refuge with the Lord of the man, of mankind. Is it Malikin Naz that follows? A'udhu bi Rabbin Naz Malikin Naz The King of Mankind Ilahi Naz the, the Lord of Mankind Look at these three statements Bi Rabbin Naz Tawheedul Rabubiya We have the scholars divide Tawheed into three Bi Rabbin Naz That shows that Allah is the one that deserves that, You know that creates everything The heavens, the earth Malikin Nas, it shows that Allah is the one that has dominion over, over everything. Ilahin Nas, it shows that Allah is the one that deserves to be worshipped. In the statement of Isti'ada, it attests to the fact that you, that you are saying it, you have total submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is one of the most important aspects of A'udhu Billah min shaitan al-Rajim. It's not something that we should not be saying. Each day is a statement that should be coming out from our, from our mouth. And lastly, where I'm going to conclude it is الأماكن التي شرعت فيها الاستعادة Places where it is legislated that we say أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم There are many places that we cannot even quantify We cannot even count all of them But to mention a few of them One of them is when we want to recite the Quran Which we have been saying, you know, all days فإذا قرأت القرآن فاستعيد بالله من الشيطان الرجيم Secondly, in the غضب When you're hungry when you are furious, when something happens, you know, one may make you go and just, just come down and say, A'udhu Billah, min shaitan al Because the reaction, your reaction at the point of, of anger, Wallahi, after that time, and you sit down, you will regret, if you are not careful. Because whatever you do at the point of anger, when you are not angry again, when everything has, you know, settled, and you reflect back to what you did, you may regret your action. Because it is from the shaitan. So at that point, say, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. إنما يلبس الشيطان على المصلي في صلاته. In fact, the Prophet ﷺ, from his uh, guidance, is that when someone is praying and shaitan wants to, you know, make the salah to, to, to become a waste, because, you know, waswasa, he may be thinking on salah. So the, the Prophet ﷺ enjoins us to say, أعوذ بالله by spitting to our what? Our left side. And say the statement, A'udhu Billah, Min Shaitan al How many times? Three times. And another place is, In the Husul al Nazr, Min Shaitan wa Waswasa. When there is whispering of Shaitan. Sometimes, you know, we are humans. We are not, we are not perfect. We are not angels. We may be thinking evil to, you know, to one another. Without even have, so, we don't have control because our mind is flexible. So in that point, when you think something bad about your brother, it is from Shaitan. When you think, oh, he has this, I don't have this, is he, she, 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 is he only the one? That is a nazg. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَإِمَّا يَنْزَغَنَّكَ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ نَزْغ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ إِنَّهُ سَمِيعٌ عَلِيمٌ when, Whenever there is any whispering against your brother, just say, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ And also, إِنَّمَا يَرَ الْإِنسَانِ مَا يَقْرَهُهُ فِي مَنَامِهِ When you sleep, and you have a nightmare that you do not ask, subhanAllah. What do we say? A'udhu billah. We return back to Allah. It's a way of taw- it's tawheed on its own. In the dukhul al-masjid, when we want to enter the masjid, we say it. In the dukhul al-khala, when we want to enter the, the toilet, we say it. A lot of areas, but we cannot mention all of them. So inshallah, we're going to stop here and um, we continue from here tomorrow.
سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك شاء الله لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك السلام عليكم ورحمه الله